John Melton coming to you live with realjohnmelton.com from my new kitchen. You like? Drop me a comment. Let me know if you like it. I like it. So I took down some notes as to why I think promoting events are so crucial and how to properly promote events and build momentum in a market. Would you like to know what we've done to create momentum in a market? Would you like to know how we promote events? Well, stay tuned. Well, I'm excited about this topic because I think this is so important. In order for you to have massive momentum in your business and really go out there and make a full-time income, a six-figure income, one day a seven-figure income, you talk to any top earner, it's because they created momentum. And normally they have pockets of momentum in different parts of the world. They don't have like momentum in every city, state, and country. They have certain markets that are exploding. So promoting events are crucial and building in that market are, are it's, it's such a big deal. It's, it's such a top priority. So here's some of the notes that I wrote down. And the reason I wanted to put down some notes, because I know that I don't want to miss anything when it comes to this topic, because if you get good at promoting events, I'm telling you, you can make a flat out fortune in this event, in this industry, because by promoting events and getting butts in the seats, you can literally write your own check. You could stink at everything else. But if you can get the people on your list or the people in your business that are already in your business to come to the events, I'm telling you, you can make it make a fortune. You can make an absolute fortune. So realize number one, there's four different personalities out there. Okay. Personality one, you've got the shark personality, that a personality. They like to, to compete. They like money. They love it. They, they love to get good at everything, right? They're, they're uh, impatient at times. That's my personality, right? Very competitive. Okay. Those are some great people to get involved in your business, but that's just one of the four personalities. You also have uh, the whale or earth personality. You might have a different term for it, but that's someone that's a, that's a giver. They want to help people. They want to make a difference. They want to make an impact. You know, they want to know they're, they're marketing something that's really going to, going to help people. They get inspired by inspirational stories and, you know, they're, they're normally bookworms and, you know, they're, they're not, they don't want recognition. They don't care about money. They're not that interested in those types of things. Then you have the analytical personality, the urchin, or, you know, some call them uh, um, uh, a lightning, right? That's another term. These are people that want all the details, right? They're all about the facts and the bottom line. They want details. You have to learn how to talk to that personality and it's going to be different than the shark and the whale. And then you have the fun personality, the dolphin, or some might call, call that personality the sun. Some of you might use rubies or colors, but that's that outgoing personality, right? They're very social. They're very vocal. They're loud. They like to dance and party and have a good time. They like to be around a lot of people, right? So, so if I'm promoting an event that's coming up in my market, I'm going to talk about how there's going to be, you know, a ton of detail. They're going to cover all the facts, hundred percent of the information. There's going to be very successful people that know the ins and outs that you can ask questions. You know, the vendors will be there. You'll learn all about the products or the services, whatever. So you want to talk to that, that lightning personality, right? That, that, that analytical type. Then you have the shark, right? Talk about all the money that can be made and how all the top six and seven figure earners are going to be there. And they're going to, they're going to get into, you know, how to make big money and become number one and create massive momentum. And you know, that, that, that shark personality loves that conversation. Then you have the whale, right? We're going to talk about, you know, and you have to talk a little quieter sometimes to that type of personality. They don't want hype and fast talking. You want to talk about how we're going to make a difference. We want to help people. You know, we're going to, we're going to talk more about, you know, how the products benefit people and how the business has created so many amazing success stories. All right. Sometimes with the analytical, you got to talk a little slower too, by the way, you know, the analytical personality, sometimes you got to kind of, you know, because they don't make emotional decisions. They make logical decisions. So they really need to hear all the facts. And again, they don't really like when you talk fast, they don't like hype. Okay. Um, and then you want to talk to the fun personality, talk about all the fun, talk about how, you know, at this event, we're going to go out, there's gonna be the meeting after the meeting and, you know, we're gonna have a blast. In fact, sleep is optional at this event. So those are some of my tips on how to talk to the different personalities to promote an event. But I want you to laser focus on a marketplace. 
You know, don't go out and try to build, when you're new to network marketing, don't try to build four, five, six markets. Find one or two markets and laser focus. You wanna create a lot of momentum, create a lot of meetings in that marketplace. You wanna create a lot of excitement within that area. Does that make sense? You know, in fact, a lot of people try to invite to recruit to a big meeting. You wanna recruit to invite. So you wanna pack your calendar between now and that major event. When that major event's coming up in a week or two or three or five weeks, whatever, try to pack your calendar with as many three-way calls, home meetings, webinars, conference calls. You wanna have tons of small events. And you know, a call is event, it is an event. A three-way call is an event. A webinar is an event. Home meetings, those are events. Have small events to promote for the big event. So don't have people start inviting for the big event three weeks from now. Have them start doing a ton of meetings over the next three weeks and at every one of those events, whether it's calls, webinars, home meetings, promote the upcoming event. That's how you create a lot of momentum in a marketplace. And you're gonna notice the people that attended the events are the ones that are the most committed, the most excited. Those are the individuals that make their business a top priority and that's what you're looking for. And in fact, my last little tip is I would also maybe create a weekly event or a bi-weekly event. And it doesn't need to be in a hotel, it could be at a home. And normally, typically, it's good to start weekly and bi-weekly events after the big event. So if you have this massive regional event or huge convention coming up, get everybody there, get them sold out, focus on the people that attended, not the ones that missed it, the ones that attended, and get all of those people on the same page with launching a weekly or bi-weekly event. And if you say, John, we can't commit to a weekly or bi-weekly, at least commit to a monthly. You have to have something that people can count on. You have to have something that people know every week or every other week or every month, whatever, that event is happening and they know that that's the event to promote to. And at every event, promote the next event. At every event, promote the next event. Learn to talk to the different personalities. The sharks like to talk about money and you know they, they, they love competition. They're very competitive. They wanna meet the top earners. Talk about to the whale personality about making a difference, helping people. Talk about you know, having fun to the dolphin personality and the analytical personality, how they're gonna learn 100% of the information. They're gonna learn all of the details. And I'm telling you, if you get good at promoting events and you create momentum in, in one or two markets at a time, don't try to build 10 markets at once unless you're a leader with experienced leaders in your business. Just focus on that one market, blow it out of the water, then move on to the next market. And, and sometimes people say, well, John, when do I know to, know to move to another market? You'll know. Because a leader will step up a leader will, will show himself. It'll be very obvious when you have a leader that's building a market and then you help in, enhance that market. You help enhance the momentum in that, in that specific area, okay? So I hope this video helped you. If it did, please leave me a comment, like, share, and you know I always appreciate you giving your positive feedback. You know, I always appreciate you watching. In fact, if this is one of the first times you've seen one of my videos, make sure you check out my blog. I have a lot more free training over there, realjohnmelton.com. And uh, have an awesome day. Thanks for watching. And there's my, my wifey. Say bye, baby. Bye. <laughs>